Hello, this is a video response to Brony Curious's video on his thoughts on there being a connection between Sombra and Princess Luna. I actually wanted to sort of add my own take to it. Now, if you're if you're one of my viewers and you're watching this, you have no and you've never seen MLP, yeah, you're this is way over your head, just watch another video. If you're a Brony, uh, this might be interesting. So, what his thoughts were was, Sombra and Luna were corrupted by a malevolent force. I like to think that's probably what happened, you know, they were both corrupted by the same force, and you know, Celestia had to seal Luna away, she lost her connection to the elements of harmony, and had to do this, find the student that could use it, and you know, the whole big thing. I actually have a bit more to add to this bit of headcanon. What if Sombra was Luna's pupil? I wouldn't put it past Princess Luna to also have her own student. It would make a lot of sense of the connection and how the darkness would be able to take them both. They probably were they probably were around the Crystal Empire. For all I know, for all we know, maybe Princess Luna was helping Sombra control the Crystal Empire. Here. Hmm. It is a thought. Another question is, there is also something that has been bugging me for a while. And this is something that has yet to be addressed. Now, it has been, it is confirmed that Sombra's big shtick is dark crystals that seem to infest the land, you know, possibly sapping hope away and so on. Celestia, when explaining what would happen if, if Sombra took over, used some of this magic. How does she know about this? Perhaps the darkness a thousand years ago, was possibly released by a younger duo. Perhaps they thought that they would need to release it in order to stop it. You know, maybe it was sealed away and the seal was cracking. The only way to open it, the only way to, you know, reseal it is you have to open it, let it out, then slam it back in. I, don't, I know it sounds like a stupid idea, but that's... Just hear me out. What if Celestia and Luna tried to to maybe control the power? They might have been younger, not as wise. So perhaps the darkness corrupted Luna first. Celestia may have been able to take hold of some of the darkness and learn how to not, you know, be affected by it. But Luna wasn't as lucky. The darkness probably corrupted Luna and then corrupted Sombra, her faithful student. And it's just pretty much as, as Brony Curious put it. That, uh, you know, they perhaps Celestia was able to stop Sombra, maybe with the help of Luna when she tried to regain control. And then she had, with her malevolent feelings of, Things amplified, pretty much are being jealous of the fact that everybody loves being out in the sun and nobody likes my dark, my nights. You know, she fought against Celestia, which Celestia had no choice but to use the elements of harmony, losing her connection, and sending Luna straight to the moon. Sam Zoom straight to the moon. I like to think that Sombra must have had a connection. There's, there's, there's got to be. The yeah, connection to him. I mean, how would they have known? They, she must have. It has been hinted at that Celestia has have had other students in the past. One popular choice is Star Swirl the Bearded, who is said to who there's many head cannons in that she that he was originally the one who was basically going to be Twilight Sparkle, the one who could solve the big mystery. You know, figure out the what makes magic magic. However, he didn't understand friendship, so pretty much he got stuck at that point. But that's a whole nother headcanon.
So, yeah, this is just my thoughts. I know I'm rambling on a bit. I just wanted to add to it because it really is a good theory. And let's face it, it's cool to add, to compare theories and so on. I'm Brenton Kage, and I'll see you later.